Hey folks, how are we doing today? Um, I did a video here a while back on, on how to shift a tractor trailer. I'm going to change the title of that one on how to shift a 10 speed tractor trailer. Um, I've, uh, I've switched companies and, uh, and the company that I'm with now, you can see behind me, we have uh, day cabs. I, I'm a local driver now. Um, but, uh, but these trucks are 13 speeds. So I, I thought I'd make a little video on, on how to shift a 13 speed. Um, really, there's not a whole lot of difference between a 10 and a 13, <laughs> three years. Um, but basically what you're doing is it's, uh, it's the same thing as, uh, as shifting a 10 speed um, with the addition of a, a splitter and uh, you're splitting your high range gears. Um, and, and like I said uh, uh, way too many times in the other video, um, it's just that simple. Um, so here we go, we're going to try a, try a 13 speed. Okay, so we're in first gear. We're going to wind it out in first gear. We're going to shift to second. We're going to, my, uh, my little cover here is broken, so I'm trying to hold it in place. We're going to go up into third. We're going to wind it out in third. Go to fourth. Okay. Now we're in fourth. We're going to flip that up as soon as we go into fourth gear. That's pre-selecting our range. We're pre-selecting for a high, high range. Okay. Now just like in a 10 speed, okay, we're going to go from fourth up into fifth okay now here's where we start using this on the side okay we are it's it's towards the back right now that's low range okay this up here in the front this uh this high low range uh, uh up in the front we're done with that we're on the high side now so we're going to leave that alone now we're going to concentrate on this okay so looking at our pattern here we are in five low okay as soon as you go ahead and shift into five low go ahead and push that forward Okay. Remember that's pre-selecting our range. Okay. So now we're we're in five low. Okay. We've got our we've got our foot on the gas. Let me see our foot on the gas there. Okay. Our foot's on the gas. Okay. We've pushed that forward to go into five high. All you do is let off the gas, and it's going to shift automatically for you when you step back on the gas. Now you're in five high. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're in five high. We're, we're accelerating. We're winding out in five high. As soon as you push down on that, uh, that gas again, pull this back. Remember, we're pre-selecting our range. So now we're going to go for sixth gear. My, my lighting is not working very good for us today. Um, we're going to go for sixth gear. Now we want to go into six low, so we've pulled back on that. We've pre-selected our range. So now we're going to go to six low. Okay. Now as soon as... Um, as soon as we go into six low, go ahead and push that forward because we're going to pre-select our range because our next gear is going to be six high. Okay, so we've wound out in six low. All you got to do is just take your foot off the gas. It's going to shift for you when you step back on the gas. Now you're in six high. Okay, now that we're in six high, let's go ahead and pull this back again, pre-selecting our range because we're going to get ready to go into seventh gear here now. Let me focus this, okay? And we want to go into seven low, so we've pulled back on this to pre-select our low range, okay? So now we're going to go into into seven low, okay? Now we've got our foot on the gas, we're accelerating. Go ahead and push that forward, pre-select our range. And all you got to do is let off the gas, step on the gas, and it's going to go into seven high. Okay, now we're in seven high. So let's go ahead and pre-select our range again to go into 8th, pull back on that, okay, now we are in, we are in 8 low, okay, so go ahead and push that forward, okay, we're winding out in 8 low, let off the gas, step on the gas, and now we are in 8 high, or what they call 13, because remember, they actually count that low there for, for a gear. So now we are in 13th gear, or 8 high. And we are rolling down the road. Now, the, uh, the, the gearing doesn't work exactly like it does in a 10 speed. The way I explained it with that is uh, 15 miles an hour. 1 plus 5 is 6, so that'd be 6th gear. Okay? 25. 2 plus 5 is 7, that'd be 7th gear. And, and and so on. 
Uh, but you see with my with my Peterbilt, it you know it's 10, 20, 30. So you got to look at the ones in between here. Um, where with my Freightliners, they actually said you know 10, 15, 20. It was actually numbered for you. Um, it's the same thing as far as the high low range goes um, with a with, with a 13 speed. If you drop under 15 miles an hour, you're going to want to go down to the low side and go into fourth gear. Okay, remember anything under 15 miles an hour is um, on the low side. Okay, but now okay, so we're we're rolling down the road and we are in 13th gear or eight high. Now let's say we start pulling a hill and we're starting to lose uh, lose a little RPM. When uh, when I'm rolling down the down the interstate in uh, in this truck, this uh, it'll it'll do 70. <clears throat> um, and uh, and and I'm I'm running about 1600 RPM or thereabouts, um, and I start pulling a hill. When I get down to about 1400 RPMs, or if I if I really want to keep it going, 1500. All you got to do is pull back on that. Remember, we're not using this at all anymore because we're on the high side. Just pull back on that. Let off the gas step back on the gas and it's going to go into 8 low or what they would call 12 okay so now we reach the uh, the crest of the hill and um and and we're uh, we're going to start going down the hill okay push forward on that let off the gas step back on the gas and it's going to shift back into 8 high or or 13 um now let's say we need to go down a couple gears, okay? So we're we're rolling down the interstate. We're in we're in thirteenth gear. So let's uh, let's go down a couple gears now, okay? So let's pull back on this, let off the gas, step on the gas. Now we're in eight low, okay? Let's say we need to go down to seven. Well, you don't want to just go down to seven low. Let's see, look here. You know this is in the low position. You don't want to go down to seven low. Um, you can if your RPMs are low enough, but uh, but let's say for for just for this instance, it, it's not. Okay, so we want to go to seven high. Okay, our foot's still on the gas. Okay, we're gonna push forward on this. Okay, we're gonna pre-select our range. Okay, let off the gas, and and then you just shift normally. Okay. Okay, and now we are in seven high. See, this is in the forward position, so that's the high side. We are in seven high. Now, if we want to go down another half a gear, okay, just pull back on this, okay, let off the gas, step back on the gas, and we are now in seven low. And you can just keep working your way down like that if uh, if you want to. Let's go down to uh, let's go down to six high. Let's push forward on this, okay, to so select our, our our high range, okay, and then just go ahead and shift like you normally would into uh, into sixth and we are in six high okay so if we want to go down to six low pull back on that let off the gas step back on the gas and it'll shift automatically into six low and then you can just keep working yourself down like that okay so now we're, we're in six low now let's work our way back up okay let's go ahead and push forward on this let off the gas Step on the gas and it'll and we'll go into six high. Okay, now let's go up to uh, seven low. Okay, so let's pre select our range, pull back on this. Okay, now we are in seven low. Okay, so we're winding out in seven low. Let's go ahead and push forward on that. Okay, let off the gas, step on the gas, and it'll go into seven high. Okay, now let's go back up to uh, let's go back up to eight. Okay, so we need to go to eight low. So let's pull back on this, pre-select our range, okay, go ahead and shift, and we are in 8 low. Push forward on that, okay, let off the gas, step back on the gas, and we are back in 8 high, or 13. And that's, uh, that's, that's, well, <laughs> it's just that simple. Um, once you get onto the high side, you know, uh, once you go, you know, uh, from, uh, from 4th, up to fifth, you know that's that's where you use this to get onto the high side, the one in front. You don't touch that anymore.
now that you're on the high side you're only using this right here and you see because we're on the high side this here is uh, free to move back and forth. Once you go down to the low side, it locks this into place. Okay, and you can't use that anymore. So really, you don't use both of them, both of them in uh, in in sequence, or you don't use both of them at the same time. You're either using one or the other. Now, now watch this for example. Let's say we're on the high side. Okay, okay. Let's move that forward. Now look, you can't push down on this one to go to the low side. This has to be in the back position for you to be able to get down to the low side. I know it sounds a little complicated. Um, it, it takes a couple days to get used to it. Um, but if, you, uh, if you've if you driven a 10 speed before, if you've gotten comfortable with that, um, you, you can drive a 13 speed. Now, an 18 speed, <clears throat> instead of, look, look here, see on the high side, you've got, um, you know, 5 low, 5 high, 6 low, 6 high. 7 low, 7 high, 8 low, and 8 high. With an 18 speed, you're splitting every gear, even 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you've got 1 low, 1 high, 2 low, 2 high, 3 low, 3 high, 4 low, 4 high, and, and so on. That, that would be an 18 speed. Um, but, uh, but this one here is just a 13 speed. But uh, folks, you know, it, 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 if you get lost, you know, it, it, it's not that big of a deal. You know, in a worst case scenario, you know, you've got to pull over to the side of the road and start over. Oops. You know, it's not the end of the world. Give yourself a couple days. Don't don't stress about it. And, uh, and you'll be rolling like a, like a big dog. Hope this helps. Take care. Bye.